What's going on everybody? This is Super Robot Ed and I got the thing I said I would not get. I spoke very highly critically of this set. And uh yeah, well damn, I broke down, broke down, I broke down. I broke down and I went out and bought this set and I have never been so happy in my life with this set. I really do like this set. You know what I'm saying? Um I'm not going to say it's perfect and I'm not going to say that all of these can replace the ones if you have that if you have all of them like I do. However, the paint jobs on these and the fact that we got Hound um, is is where it's at. Um, so, yeah, the cars look very nice. We're just going to do like a little quick overview. And this is Jazz. You can see here he's got more paint stuff, but he doesn't have any of the chrome look or silver and I do I'd probably chrome that wheel out a little bit so it matches my first my studio series jazz but you know that's it um the one that really got me to want to buy this of course is the wheel jack and um I mean not wheel jack the sun streaker and wow this wow just dang 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 next is the wheel jack which yeah, he's a little plain but he got a gun now and he's got his, you know, shoulder weapon, too. Oh, yeah. And that's also I forgot to say Sunstreak Streaker now comes with a gun. Next is Trailbreaker. Now, Trailbreaker, you know, I like because he does match the masterpiece. Well, that gray um, and the Autobot Temple, it is nice. Um, very nice. But the star of the show is Hound because I never got Dietrich. Didn't understand that. So basically, if you want to know the short story about Hound, this is the Buzzworthy Bumblebee Hound. And let me do some explanations here for why we have this set. Very simply put, Target paid to sell this figure. Anytime a store, and you know, they love to get a store to actually come in and buy it up front without having to reorder. Cause a lot of times that's why your wave four and you know, later waves and older Transformer series didn't, you know, would not be around because by the time they clearance out the stuff from waves one, two, and three and four and they're like hey uh, it's just order once or twice and that's it so that's what happens a lot um so this basically was spoken for but when they didn't pay for it of course that probably messed with the budget and thus they said well to complement this we'll sell this this junk so to speak and then throw it in here and we make a profit because the plastic quality on these are good it's a small finite curve from the original and it's not because of the weight of clear plastic because clear plastic is not super heavy but you know it could be um but i was looking at ditrus and i almost bought ditrus and i was like nope i don't want ditrus when i look at ditrus he just it's the, those colors are so jarring you know what i'm saying to be whatever he's supposed to be so i had to go and buy the set i did go on ebay to try to find you know at least just getting him and him and it was just it was stupid. So we're going to move these to the side for a second so we can look at this wonderful box. The box is nice, too. The box has some weight to it. Um, and you can see it here. It's a very nice gold. And I think it's kind of like the legacy box that um, I think like um, uh, Black Zara came in. Like the colors, I think. I think. I'm not sure. Uh, but it doesn't have anything on the back. The instructions are on the inside. Um, and I mean, you can reuse this box. This box is very tough. And but I wish they gave it like a little bit more oomph on the tray. And of course, the instructions and there's the backdrop are inside here. So that is the end of the box. And you like I said, if you have all five of these, you can put them probably in this box for storage. Hey, wouldn't be a bad idea because I will let y'all know before we even get started with you. All these are going to go on replacing the uh, ones that I had on the show. All right. So we're going to start with Jazz. Now we're going to go in order of this because really, I mean, I kind of like all of these. So, and like I said, I'm pressed for time. Um, so I'm gonna bring out Jazz. And we have the Studio Series 86 version. Um, and right off the bat, I gotta say that now I want the bridge, the Autobot bridge set because the Autobot bridge set is gonna be the best of both worlds. Basically it's gonna have this, but with the, uh, uh, you know, clear windows. Um, so that's a big plus, but the one thing I will say, I do like jazz mold overall. Um, but if I had my choice, 
and I did modifications on him too. Um, this looks better. Now we're going to do some, you know, comparisons. The guns are the same. I actually chromed mine out a little bit on my first one. So they're pretty much identical. I mean, there's nothing different with the guns. They're just the same almost if you ask me. All right. There's nothing to talk about. But let's look at the car. So right off the bat, I've got them here. We're going to do like we're stacking a junker here. We'll put the new one on top because it's more brighter. You know what I'm saying? So let's go. So we can see here from the side that the this new one has the black around on the wing spoiler has the blue and red pinstripe on the back of the vehicle. Um, this does not still has the 14 still has the same wheel except the sprue is a little darker where I made mine silver. So that's the only difference to kind of match the rim. Um, from the top here, the original has a thicker stripe while this one has a more of a pinstripe. Um, again, the clear windows just make, this is what makes this stand out the clear windows, man. But this, uh, the windows here, and I noticed when you tried to transform him, he don't fit right these do. Like they, they're meant to fit with clear plastic. So just keep that in mind. Um, now I will say that with this one, I did have a crack on the inside. Now, let me explain clear plastic for y'all going. So you see what I mean? No, clear plastic doesn't crack on his own. That's because I was forcing it too hard and well, kind of got a little dent there or, but yeah, in some instances, if you have a bad climate in your house, yeah, maybe you could crack clear plastic, but no, I don't believe your story. But anyway, um, this is how they look from the top. No, I really don't. Um, you know, somebody complained about the whole, where the hell are you going to put the gun? Okay. Stop complaining about dumb stuff. <laughs> All right. So from the front, now you might see a difference here because I actually painted these uh, blue and I added a little more red. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm having issues with that part. That's one thing I don't like is that hood sometimes does that pause. Back by YouTube Magic, of course, had to fix the hood, man. And yeah, that's everything right there. And then from the bottom, this is a different shade of white. You can see where I added the red there, you know, um, and, you know, just to give it more of a look. And um, this is the very stark white. Here is the chrome parts. Here is the gray parts. And it's gray here and it's gray with dark as well. And these are white. Um, this has a darker blue. This has a lighter blue. There's a little gray like stripe here that's not there. And like I said before, this is from me doing a little extra paint. So normally I think this would just be white here. All right. Um, the front bumper. The Autobot symbol is more of an animation look there. Let me just get a little bit. Gosh, I'm going to hit the, gonna hit the, hit the focus there a little bit. So you can see it there. And yeah, I, the deco on this is better, but I think with the clear windows, this would look even awesomer. So yeah, this is probably going to be the last time I buy Jazz because I'm not, I mean, like I said, if I do get the Autobot set, I really don't need like three Jazzes, so. But this one is going to go on the shelf because when we show robot mode, we're going to see some more differences. And as always, we'll be back in the wonderful world of two and two. All right, everybody, we're back by YouTube Magic. And we have Jazz in his robot mode. And so, yep, we're going to look at the details real quick. Not going to go over articulation. I need to do that. Head sculpt is now uh, painted with a flat gray, which I like. The blue is a little more subtle. Same thing with the lights and everything. Now I would go and get the um, uh, my origins set, but I have put that way in storage now, and there's not really much to show off there. Uh, but he is similar in that paint job to him. I still think the origins version is the best jazz period because of the robot mode. Um, but this one is a lot better. Like I say, you can see the details from the back more, more paint, you know, here on the shin uh, near the legs and everything. So you have the stripe and everything so it does look a lot better i think overall he's got like a slightly grayish black uh, instead of black it's really not as black as the um studio series version now the studio series version a lot of what you see is silver but i did make some modifications to mine like because i didn't like quite how he looked so i did kind of make some modifications here and there so they may almost look even similar, but not all the way because he still doesn't have like the blue um, going up to here. And that's probably really a few of those misnomers that happen with paint. But I think 
you know, of the two, he's like the least, I don't know, like the least of like him and Trailbreaker, they're the least. Um, and we'll go through that as we go to him and that's going to be the next figure. So yeah, so far so good. I mean, he's going on the shelf. He's going to go inside the box. And now we're going to go on the trail baker. And again, we'll be back in the wonderful world of two and two. All right, we're back by YouTube Magic, and we now have trail breaker, which is now more of a sort of charcoal gray. And I like it. Now, I don't recall in G1, the toy was black um, and he had more of the four WD on the side because four wheel drive. Um, but other than that, the details on him, let's go over them real quick. Um, so now he has like a gray front um, now and the headlights aren't clear. So again, you're actually losing when they don't do that because that's actually like a part. Of course, the windshield is no longer there. It's painted blue. Um, but now the sides of the back of the are painted blue. And I don't know where the um, radar dish is. I do have the Centurion weapon set. I just wasn't going to look for that. That's a lot of stuff I got to go through. And it's a lot to do this review today. So... But I need to get it done because I really do want to relax a little bit since I have a day off in the middle, of the, almost near the end of the week. I just forgot that I didn't take like the rest of the week off, which I should have done. But hey, somebody's going to work, right? So anyway, that's how he looks. And then, of course, we'll bring in the original uh, Earthrise Trail Breaker. And as you can see here, um, even though he has clear windows and he has more stripes here, um, they took, a, they didn't paint this, you know what I'm saying? Which probably would have looked odd if you look at the front thing here. But the one thing I did like about the front of him is he had like that full head, like, like, uh, kind of like what they did with R.I.D. versus, uh, car robots, where they actually did take away the headlights on the car brothers, on the, on the car, on the Autobot brothers and, you know, kind of molded in details. Um, this is very similar, but the difference is that we do get a better, a, a grayer, better deco, if you ask me. Um, but he doesn't have like the original, like these are more G1 four wheel, uh, that 4WD there. Um, from the back, of course, they both still have the headlights, but this looks a lot better because of the paint. And again, the top of the car here has the, that more animation Autobot symbol, where this has like a toy Autobot symbol with that white outline. So you can see that there. Um, the rims, the wheels here are gray as well. You know, get that, you know, like animation look where these are black and you can see that there. Let's get a comparison of the wheels there. You can see the difference there. On um, the underside, you know, it's pretty much the same except this is gray and this is black. And like I said before, so yeah. Now we're gonna get them in the robot mode and do a comparison. And that's where it's gonna probably stand out more. And of course, again, we'll always be back in two and two. All right, we're back by YouTube Magic, and we have the Legacy United version of Trailbreaker in his robot mode. Now, you'll notice that he still has that charcoal gray look. Um, I do like that. Um, and they kind of match this to kind of blend in to the arm. Although it's a little off in paint, it does look a lot better because he did in some episodes have that like gun arm look that G1 Transformers always had, which I love. Um, but you can see the head scope here. It's the same. It's just that grayish color and now the weapons here are painted like almost silver but it's that animation look um the blue window the autobot symbol is a little recessed but it's that you know animation stamp not the you know out embossed like toy stamp and then everything else is the same except it's just gray and then of course the back here because I, I don't like it I, it's not a shield just put it on the back. It looks a lot streamlined, if you ask me. Um, but yeah, I, I, I in the robot mode is where it kind of shines because under certain lights, it does look a little black, like a dark gray, darker blackish gray. Um, but of course, we'll show off the uh, Earthrise version. We'll edit which, that out. All right, so here they go together in their robot modes. And um, now I did chrome out his... Uh, weapons here. I was going to finish chroming him out in certain places, but I just didn't do it. And like I said, it's just really a matter of black versus this, you know, charcoal gray. And the masterpiece has charcoal gray. And of course, it's missing some paint going here. The 4WD is not there. Um, now that we have both in their robot modes together, you can see where there's more paint on the back because of the stripes and everything. Um, like I said before, these were not chrome. They were actually like, yes, I don't know if they were dark gray or bone white, I can't remember, but 
I just can't remember because uh, it's been so long. This sat on my, this is, I've had this for four years now. This is 2020 right here. A little lighter, uh, like a blue window or something like that. That would have been a difference, you know, but that's neither here nor there. Um, I guess I'll be sticking with this trail breaker. Now we're going to go to the next one and that's going to be wheel jack. And of course, we'll always be back in two and two. And we're back by YouTube Magic, and now we have this very white and blue and very little bit of red and green version of Wheeljack. Um, now, without the weapons, this is how you look, and I gotta say, it just look a little too plain. But, considering what Wheeljack has been going through in coloration, I'm okay with it. So we're gonna look at this real quick, and so he also has like charcoal gray wheels. It's a trend with this set. Um, except in the jazz, I mean, jazz are a little darker, but as you can see here, he is very clean, man. This is too clean, like a little too clean, just plain, man. Just, but it works. I mean, he looked like a wheel jack, you know what I'm saying? But I mean, some of the temples I would have liked them to keep on here, but they did repaint this symbol here. I don't know if it's so much animation accurate. He does have a little green lip there. Um, he's got a little bit of green here and the feet are white. This is gray. Still got the 638 on the side, but that's it. And, uh, yeah, underside is, you know, stark white. And so we're going to bring in Wheel Jack here. Get him up here. So this is the Earthrise Wheel Jack. There is a Kingdom version and there's a Netflix version. Of course, the Kingdom version, I believe, is identical. The Netflix version has that kind of rusted out look, but he does have a very nice paint job. So as you can see here, the differences are like night and day. I mean, um, the original G1 toy always had this color after a while. Some people's wheel jacks just turn yellow. I don't know why that is. And I never owned wheel jack as a kid. I played with it as a kid, but I never owned it. Uh, but right here, you can see the differences. And I'm not going to lie. I do like the paint deco on this. And I wish they had kept this versus them just, you know, taking it all the way and just making this plain. Um, so now we can look at some differences here. You can see where it's just like, man, his, you know, but the paint is actually fading on him though. So, um, I mean, I feel like they saw some things and just decided like, hey, you know, we're gonna, you know, fix them uh, from the front. You know, again, he's got the long stripe. He does not, um, the windows are blue where here's a gray. This kind of has almost like a checkerboard pattern and this part is black. Um, then the wheels on the side are red instead of silver, but they're black instead of the gun, the cart charcoal. The 638 is more pronounced with a lot more logos on the side. Um, and of course, on the top where the spoil is, he has a uh, arrow bolt and some Japanese writing. There's a lot of samples on here that I actually like. There's more paint here. The red, which I don't know I can get out anymore, uh, is from a third party kit to make him look like he got headlights. And I got to find one that matches him, you know, so I can give him, you know, a few extra bits in here and there. Um, but yeah, other than that, though, I mean, they do look good together. Um, but when you get to robot mode, that's when you're going to see like, oh, OK, I see what Super Robot is saying. Because, yeah, in robot mode, it's a whole different category. And as always, we'll be back in two and two. All right, we're back by YouTube Magic, and we now have Wheeljack in his robot mode. And uh, let's go over a little bit of the details. Now, he does have that funky looking... I never understood that weapon. But that's all he came with in the Earthrise version. But now he gets a gun. And I know this gun is from someone, but I just can't remember. Um... Which is pretty good. So now we have guns where they shouldn't be. And we'll see that with uh, 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 Sunstreaker in a minute. But man, this does look good this way. You know, overall, can't complain. Um, and basically, I'm going to bring out my wheel jack, which is losing weapons left and right. But I still have his shoulder cannon here, which will probably be going to him until the end of the video, because I do want to show them off with a group shot at the end. But as you can see here, um, wheel jack. He suffered the worst. He didn't really yellow. I don't think he yellow. He was always kind of this color anyway. Um, it, they had just used a different blue tint instead of this smoky dark tint. This would have looked even better. This would have looked more of a masterpiece. But the colors are very close to masterpiece. The head sculpt is really what will get you 
going here because that head scope that is wheeljack all the way i mean look at it it is dope i've never been so happy to see a figure look so good but this this head scope is fire it is man it is they, they did a good job you know what i'm saying they really did a good job so if i had to pick uh, it's gonna be this guy and like i said before this shoulder cannon was a third party upgrade so i'm gonna be putting that on him and keeping him with the gun and i'll put this back in the box so i don't lose it and try to find his so we're done with him and now we're gonna move on to the streakers before we get to the grand finale um here and uh we'll start because i'm not gonna pause or anything like that i'm in a hurry kind of hungry all right this movie's out the way <laughs> and at point sun streaker so yeah sun streaker comes in all right now let's talk about sun streaker let's get closer here um he's really a sort of orangey yellow kind of like the uh G1 version, Hank Cave, you know, version, the universe version is not even, you know, yellow as like the Earthrise version, but this looks a lot better. You now have two Autobot Tamples, one on the front, which is split in half, of course, for the go with the feet. You now have blue windows, which actually help this to fold up a lot better. You actually have the uh, uh, part here, it's still the same, but now you get a gun. And so what they did, even though they didn't have a spoiler, is that they made this silver, so it looks like he has a spoiler. But I do have a third party spoiler. I have three of them because I have two that go with Cordon and spin out. And I probably can use the one from Cordon since I want him to not have a spoiler because he's a police car and I'll probably put it on uh, him. But I'm going to show off that in a minute. But as you can see here, he's very just nice and yellowy like you know like yellow just just yellow just, just yellow and the wheels are charcoal gray so they're not the typical you know black wheels they're actually like a charcoal gray and i think that's pretty cool so yeah now that's a quick overview and the front has a much more pronounced black bumper as opposed to the original um but yeah he does look good and we'll put the gun here just so we don't lose him because uh, when you get a robot mode he is fantastic uh, so yeah, let me go ahead and bring him down here for a second. Zoom out just a little so we can get all of that nice scroochy scroochy frame rate. And then of course we have the Earthrise version. And like I say, he when you put him up there, you actually see how this yellow just, I have to boost up the color because this is in a natural, I'm using like a natural color profile in the film process of this. So when I'm looking at it, I know it's not showing up quite as the yellow as you see, as I see with my eye, but I will fix that in post. Um, so this video is gonna take a while. So, um, but this was this was a uh, Sunstreaker, man. And all right, I'm gonna say this about Sunstreaker. I really wish they had used the runabout and runamuck mode to make Sunstreaker. The way that they have the full chest for those two would have worked with him better, just like they did with the masterpiece. Uh, but he does have a spoiler. This was from uh, JRC. He no longer is in business and I sorely miss him. Very simple and effective spoiler. And it looks good because it's got that chrome look like how the Sunstreaker should. But trust me on him, it's going to look even better. And so we're going to get like a comparison here. And I know I'm rushing because I forgot to do certain things to really do comparisons, but I've got to get these out. So we're going to do the top, top comparison, as you can see here, yellow, yellow, no paint, no paint, uh, black rim, black wheels with kind of gunmetal, you know, light chrome hubcap, same thing with him, but the wheels are now that charcoal gray. Um, from the top here, he has more paint right there. The Autobot symbol is, now both of these have very similar Autobot symbols. They don't have the white outline. Of course, this is, and I, I guess this is, you know, and I, you can see like a little pattern under here. This is what I'm saying, like this, you know, this is still kind of more parts than this. And at the top, he's got the the black outline when he's got, it's just kind of like on the front, but this has the Autobot symbol, which makes it even better. From the back here, um, I still think the back just looks better just because of the black bar. Um, this just looks like the back of a black. It, that's This This is the part where they messed up on the um, From the front, like I said before, he's got the more pronounced black line where he doesn't. Um, like I said, and yeah, it does look good. And this is the spoiler is going to go on to him. And then from the bottom, 
Now the, the legs here is the part that gets me because actually these were molded almost like like a sprue. And we'll see it in robot mode where they filled it in with plastic. Um, but this is actually two tone. This is not. And it won't probably show up. But when I do the color and post, you'll see it. All right. So, yeah, that is it. And yeah, I got to say this is the old one because I did chrome it out a little bit. Um, so, yeah, it does look a little bit more shinier and that's going to go on here. So I want everything to go on them that they're supposed to have and whatever extras I add, I will add them. Um, but yeah, I mean, it does, it does, they do look good. And of course, now we're going to have them in robot modes and we're almost to the end. We'll be back at two and two. And we're back by YouTube magic. And basically we have Sunstreaker in his robot mode and the color yellow on him just pops. It really does pop. And with the black outline on the arms and the way that the legs are more uniform. Remember when I told you that it, his legs kind of look like they are a cutout of some type of like a, a model kit or something. That's how his legs look on the original. We'll show that off in a minute. But now they're not. They're filled in. And it just it. I, I mean, this is what this is the second part of the kit of this. I mean, kit, kit set that made me want to buy this set was the sun, the sun streak. And yes, I went online. I looked in. It just it just was more economical for me to buy the whole set. You know what I'm saying? I'm a glutton for punishment for Hasbro. Hasbro needs to stop and set the floodgates because I spent a lot of money with y'all asses. But yeah, um, he does look good. Now, this time around, the head has a more uh, gray gunmetal look paint job here. And you can see the head sculpt there. It's more yellowy. It just looks more animation accurate. And that is what we want. And that is what we want. I mean, it's just wow. The difference of what they did with him you know what I'm saying? You know, just lurks out a lot better. Oh, this could have just been yellow, but I mean, that black, then it's not having like, we can see through it. It just makes it look better. And then from the back here, um, he's got that black outline. So even if you just was very, like, I just want to use this like a weapon, then you could use it like a weapon and it won't look so plain in the back. So yeah, he's got, I like it. And he's got the silver on the arms to replicate like he's got the spoiler. And he's not all he's got gun met, that, that charcoal gray uh, on the head. And, and, and it just looks good. Like it, it in the cabin, giving us this gun. Uh, just yeah. Now we can get the vents on the back. We just had some missiles here. But hey, that will work. And we'll compare them with the uh, original Earthrise Sunstreaker, which I still I still I still have a feeling for this one, too. But the yellow on him is the only reason why the yellow looks two tone is because it painted over this clear plastic. Plain and simple. They could have probably done another coat. That would have probably solved the problem. But they didn't. It's Hasbro and they're cheap. Um, that's why it looks two-tone. So I don't know why people complain it because plenty of G1 toys were sure two-tone. And they're still two-tone with him too, mainly on the legs. As you can see there, it's a little bit lighter. But um, it goes like this. This looks, it just looks better, man. I, I like, I still, like Sunstreaker has that it's slim look, you know what I'm saying? But my God, man, oh boy, they did the thing with him, man. They did the thing with him. They look good together. And I don't have Sideswipe with me, unfortunately, to do like the color um, thing, but we'll talk about that later. That's something else I got to talk about. We're not going to talk about it right now. But these two, honestly, like I could do still keep either one on the shelf, but this one really is the, the truth. It's a, I wait till the color profile. All right, we're going to stop here. Now we're going to show off um, the last one, which is the Battle of the Hounds. And we'll start in vehicle mode and always be back in two and two. But one more shot. Damn. Damn. <laughs> Damn. All right, we're at the final. We're back by YouTube Magic. And we now have the most heralded figure in the history of Transformers in the modern era for G1 like Transformers. And that's G1 Hound. In order to get G1 Hound, you got to go through five other figures. Well, are they worth it? Yeah, they are. But the Hound is really where you're coming for. Um, let's look at him. So, yeah, he has the Jeep look. He is Dietrus. But, you know, now I don't have a Dietrus and never will. But on Dietrus, this window is clear. So other than that, he does come with the new cannon, which is weird. And he comes with the hollow gun, which I actually have a third party version of. So that's going to be pretty cool. 
And then, of course, you know, he comes with the green painted when, uh, rims and everything. And in the front, this engine block is also green, which is weird. It should have been silver, but he does have some decent details. Um, you have the, the, the one star, the Autobot symbol over here. Um, the underside, very clean. Inside, very clean. And like I said before, the missile, you know, just kind of comes off like this and everything. You know what I'm saying? So that's about it. So now what we're going to do is uh, bring out the old hound, which is still the Siege Cybertronian version. But he does kind of remind me of like a small Hummer vehicle. So as you can see here, now this hound is nothing to play with. I've made a lot of customizations to this hound and starting, you know, with the rims and everything, I did paint them silver. He has a new missile, which I can't use, unfortunately. And he also came with the hollow gun, the holographic gun, but I painted it silver. Um, this is made by a third party. It's not the same as this one. It's not as hollow, you know, you know what I mean with that. Um, but the, you know, it's still designed from this toy. I still think this is a very good hound. And the paint job on this hound is very nice. I don't know if everybody noticed that, but it is. And like I said, they both share and then they don't share. I mean, it's very, you know, it's very much remolded parts, you know, remolded, um, you know, front here and everything. And I painted mine silver. So I painted that part silver. I just wanted it to stand out because I didn't know if we were ever going to get Earthrise Hound, but we'd wind up getting Earthrise Hound. So yeah, it does look good. I mean, you know, overall, I think both vehicles are fine. I don't really think this is being a Cybertronian vehicle. I just think it's just being like, a, like I say, a special type of military vehicle or something like that. You know what I'm saying? It just looks a little bit more, you know, tougher and tanky like compared to this one. Um, but still, they both are good. I think Hound is one of the standout figures in general. Fun to transform. A lot of things that Hound does I love. So I think we're done with comparisons. We're going to go ahead and get him in robot mode and then we're going to do two and two. And then, of course, we're going to do the final benediction and then I'm done with reviews and I'm not going to do any reviews until probably later on in the week because I'm not doing jack tomorrow. All right, we're back by YouTube Magic and we now have the Legacy United Hound in his robot mode. So let's now show this off without further ado. Let's begin. So first things first, you'll notice that he has this sort of green Again, what we show, but now you can see it in the robot mode head. And I don't like that. Like there's certain aspects of this one. I'm sure a lot of people are thinking that they're going to release another one. Singularity. They might. I don't know. We'll have to see. But in the meantime, I don't want to make alterations to this one unless I buy a second set or I find another hound, which is very hard to find. But I would love to paint that like a different color. Um, the green on the thighs are also, is also on the thighs, which is weird. The chest has the green. On the back, yeah, he's a little hollow, not like a, you know, where to see this, but he's got a lot of green. The wheels are green, but the arms are painted yellow with the stripe around it. He has, like, again, the star and everything's giving that, you know, one star general look. Um, since he's newer, you know, he's got the same, and I never did. The review of Hound, he does have the same uh, articulation as all of any other modern War for Cybertron going into Legacy. That's basically where it started with the new feet swivel and everything. Leg goes back to here. Um, goes all the leg goes up to there. Arm does a 360. Um, rotates, got an elbow. Fist does rotate. Head doesn't really look up and down, but can look sideways, but just can't turn all the way around because he's going to have that door facing there. And then he could turn it back around, of course. He's got the cannon, which you kind of got to press in. And like I said, the missile is like a cap now, which I don't like that. And then, of course, he's got the hollow gun and he does have the. And then can he do the John claude Van Damme? The answer to the question is yes, he can John claude Van Damme. There you go. All right. So, you know, it's the way swivel. Forgot about that. So he just looks like G1 Hound. I mean, this is the G1 Hound that we want. This is G1 Hound that we've been waiting on, and I had to spend a lot of money to get a Hound, but it was worth it in the end. Um, you know, I guess I just had to get used to that. And so we'll compare him with the uh, War for Cybertron Hound, which, again, boy, this is really going to be tough to give up this Hound because this Hound is still one of my favorites, um, hands down, because the moderation, the uh, alterations I made. But you can see here, though, but in the end of the day, he takes the cake. This just has that still, you know, nice look. But what hurt him a little bit is he's got star details. Like I say, I don't know what he got. He was Cybertronian. I don't see Cybertron in this figure 
whatsoever. Sorry about that, y'all. I guess I'm on this like weird surface, so it's not my light box is not flat. Let's just get a little bit more up here, and then we can see. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, he's got the same weapons because of the third party upgrades, but um, yeah, they both look good. Like I, like this is tough, man, because like my shelf has been so used to these. The figures I have, but you know, the legs, you know, it's just more stuff, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I gotta say goodbye to the hound, but I do like his head sculpt, man. His head sculpt was, I, I, I just thought he had a more serious look, you know what I'm saying? Like, now he doesn't, he's got more like, just turn me loose, Prime. Like, here he looked like, yeah, Prime, I'll beat the ass if them boy catch me, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, there. I don't know. All right. So I put the shoulder cannon back on. As you can see, a final benediction. And then we're going to pause and do the final, final. And that's going to be done in two and two. All right. The number one question is, should you buy this set? All right. Now, I'm going to go through a few scenarios and, you know, give you what my take on everything is. So first things first. Um, if you don't have any of the four figures here, because Hound, most people actually have the, you know, uh, Siege Hound, um, then this set is for you. This set definitely will not, this set will actually be the most economical of any set because CMD store had this for 104. So basically a hundred bucks divided by five. So each of these figures, which would normally cost around nowadays about 25 bucks, it costs you about 20 bucks. But I think it's because, like I said, you only have one molded piece for everything that's a window. And that will, you know, reduce the cost. Um, the plastic quality is at the level, but not quite. When I say this, please, I've been doing this for 25 years when, and the plastic quality is good. But the original versions are much better. When I say much better, I like it's drastically much better. Just there's that just little bit more of a, you know, like tightness. And, you know, it's just, you know, like it just feels more. Yeah, I don't even know the word to use, but the plastic quality is a little bit down. It's got that shine to it. Kind of like what they did with the if you ever had the other hot rod from way back when they did like the. Um, Target Master, um, when they did like a two pack or three pack with Hot Rod back in the Chug days, when they gave them that one piece window, but they did give them kind of more of a animation look. It had that similar feel to the plastic compared to the original one. And I've owned that uh, version of Hot Rod like 400 million times. So I know <laughs> that mold like the back of my hand. It's the same thing with these. They quite, 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 quite. And I want to explain that. It's, it's so, it's a hairpin, but it's there. I know it's there because I know it's there. Trust me. But as far as it being just loosey goosey, no, the plastic quality is, you know, just it's still good. In fact, it's great in a way, but it just, you know, it's not on the level of the original releases. And it's not saying anything. You won't notice it. I just happen to notice it because I'm holding both figures in my hand and I've been holding it for about a day now. All right. With that being said, now, if you're looking to get like one of the figures that you're missing, yeah, this set is probably not for you, but no one has Hound. So you are 20% in regardless. And if any one of the figures you need to replace or fill the gap, well, you're already 40%, in, you know what I'm saying? And you can, and like I say, if you don't need the other figures, you could sell them. And so basically what I'm gonna tell you is this, this set is worth it in the end. If it is to get Hound, so be it. If you want to wait for Hound or get it any other way, then that's on you. But I got this set and I like it and I'm happy and it's replacing every single figure that I had on my shelf with these versions. So what are your thoughts? Leave them down in the comments below. This is Super Robot Ed, bringing more news reviews to them. We'll see you soon. Bye bye. And I am done.